Hi, I'm Anuja. And I'm Hithil, and it's Tip Tuesday on ShowMeTheCurry.com. Mm -hmm. And today's tip is actually very useful. Uh, a lot of times, you know, we, we buy vegetables or fruits and we want to use some and then freeze some or just buy and freeze because they're cheaper and freeze <laughs> them for later. But what happens is we, you know, we cut them and then you put them in Ziploc bags and you store them. And the next time you look at them, yeah. It's a rock. It's a rock. It's a <laughs> and you need two pieces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you only need half of it or a little portion of it, and there's no way to get that fruit or vegetable out without defrosting the whole thing. Right. And and then you have to use it up because you're not going to refreeze it, right? Right. Yeah. So we're going to just show you a little bit samples over here. We've got avocado. We use we used up some, but then we had some left, and we don't use it up. It's going to get spoiled, and we don't need to use it mm -hmm. right now. And, and actually, you know, avocado is one of those things where when it's cheap, you get them like fifty cents an avocado. But when it's not, when it's not in season, mm -hmm. they're almost like two dollars an avocado. Right. So if you happen to find avocados on sale, it's a perfect. It's a perfect trick to mm -hmm. actually to buy them and store them. Right, and I think strawberries are the same, same way. way. exactly. So I'm gonna cut, cut off the little green portion and just chop them through the center and it works for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all of them. Now if you're going to use, like use this for a, a, a smoothie or something like that and you wanna freeze strawberries and you wanna keep them whole, then absolutely just take the green portion off and keep them whole, that's fine. If you're gonna make like a jam with it or something later on, then you can actually even cut it down further and however you like. So these strawberries are anything that you use, make sure they're clean and ready to use. So these strawberries have been washed, they have been patted dry, and only after that are we cutting them. So while Anuja is finishing up the strawberries, I have just a pan here it can be anything, it can be a plate, it can be anything basically that will fit into your freezer. So it needs to stay level. So kind of clear off a shelf or however big your shelf is or room you have, pick a dish or plate or pan mm -hmm. that's gonna fit. And we also have parchment paper. You can also use wax paper if you have it. Line that. And what we're gonna do is just take each piece and we're going to put it in one layer make sure it's not touching the other piece and just organize all of them in a single layer all by themselves the key is don't make them touch okay yeah so now what you're going to do is like Ethel mentioned it's going to go straight flat into the uh, fridge sorry into the freezer actually not the fridge and you're going to let it be there for a couple of hours a couple of hours is plenty because they'll just solidify so see you in a bit so it's been a couple of hours and you can see there's a little bit of coating on the um, fruits and, the, and uh, the strawberries and the avocados and they're not frozen all the way but they have got a nice coating so that means they're good enough to be moved. Mm -hmm. Now we have little Ziploc baggies over here mm -hmm. and anything you freeze, this is just a good idea to do this for everything, is label it. That way you know what it is first of all in case it's not obvious and you know when you froze it, so yeah. it won't go bad or... What it plus is, plus the date. Good idea. Perfect. This for the avocado. That's for the strawberry, strawberry baggie. Again, you don't need to work on this fast because you don't want them <laughs> to defrost by the time you put this away. Try to squeeze the air out a little bit, so... There we, go. there we go. Again, quickly back into the freezer so they freeze again individually. So voila, it's done. So if you have a tip out there that you'd like to share with us and our viewers, make sure you email it to us. Mm -hmm. And if you enjoy this video and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to their channel and hit that little bell button so you will be the first to know every time we share a new recipe. So join us for another tip on another Tuesday on ShowMeTheCurry.com.